Hello, everybody. Welcome back, Team Ghost 100. Tonight's game is captive. V0.20. <laughs> Looks pretty scary. Sounds pretty scary. That's about all I know. Whoa. Did that cut up body just move? Flashlight? No. Torch? No. Jump? Yes. Crouch? Yes. And it's not locked. Yeah. Okay, I'm in a cage. No, I'm not. In a yes, I am in a cage. Flashlight? I already looked for that. Okay. Uh, fork. Uh, what is that? Ear. Tab. Eye. Ah, fork. It's pretty sharp. Can break flimsy objects. Use. Open. Open. Yes, open. Okay. We've got some toxic sludge. Chuck some turtles in there. Name them after some dead artists. You got yourself a cartoon and movie franchise. Oh. Scroogever. Thank you. Hey, what you got in the fridge? A note? Michael, don't know last name, age 24, address, something. This note is pointless. Mmm, <laughs> meat. Drawer, 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 drawer. Clomp, clomp, excuse me. Nothing. If I walk in this way. <gasps> yeah, it'll hurt. Okay. Fork. Uh, let's see. Uh, use fork to open this. Cool. I believe screwdriver was here. Uh, I'm going to read this note again. Just because. Book? Did book? Oh! Okay. Uh. Inventory. Book. How to Torture People, Volume 1. Can unscrew screws. Use that. That's a bolt, but take your time. Holy shit! Could you go any slower? We lost the handle. All right. Let's. Oh, somebody's getting electrocuted. Sir. Does this screwdriver have a slow setting? Jesus. This isn't even screws here. What is happening? Oh, there was a screw there. It's just underneath the uh, metal. Hey, dude. Oh, God. Um, if you're reading this, there's still hope for you. The serial killer is not a human. He's an android. At least that's what I theorize. He cannot hear you, so don't be afraid to make noise. He's programmed to randomly check on his victims every four to five minutes. By the time you're reading this... He'd have replaced the current victim in the torture room with me, so I have to help you so you can put an end to this. I left a mysterious device behind the packaging boxes, which alerts you when he's going to check your room. You have 60 seconds after the alert rings to return to your cell and place all the objects back in place? What? Behind these boxes? Behind this box. Can I use this? Can I use this key? I think I died. Shit. Fork. 
use. So like, do I gotta put the screwdriver back in the drawer? Oh, I bet that key is for that. Look. Uh, screwdriver, use for the slowest unscrewing of your life. You'll die before you get any of these. Like, do I gotta put these screws back? All that shit in 60 seconds? I guess we'll find out. Really weird that the handle's not there. Pretty weird. Pretty glitchy. So, I think I walked to... All right, last shot. I don't want to have to unscrew those fucking screws ever again in my life after this. Unscrew the cocksucker. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. Whole was that always there? Am I standing or am I still crouched? Okay, it's not a locked crouch. get out of here okay hey man uh i don't think i need that book you can have it bro um i think this is the this is this. are you the android isn't there a note here if you're reading this a place um, I left a mysterious device behind the packaging boxes. So to me, hang on. Sorry, bro, but they, I'm pretty sure you're dead. These are packaging boxes. Okay, um, is it just kind of active? Do I have to hit a number? Do I have to... What do I do to use that device? Is there any hint in the settings? Nope. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that device is just functioning now it's just like hey man I'm a device and I am functioning now key on door no uh, key on that is fucking loud Okay. 
drop. Right? I dropped the fork. Oh, wait. Screwdriver. Drop. Drawer closed. Hey, uh, developer. That little beepy beepy doesn't need to be that loud. That kind of hurt my ears. Also, speed up the screwdriver thing. Make it make it immediate. We do not need to see the screws turning. Where's this android? There he is. Did he come in here with a leaf blower? now a three scary games episode on to the next game our next game in this three scary games saga <laughs> is do do lost i'm not gonna finish that but if you know that song you're cool okay we look like we we're in some kind of temple with some water making me have to pee. They stopped supplying us with life-giving water. I, did they though? Um, what is left will dry up soon. shark face it's like a shark mouth with the shark nose feed them okay I'm gonna take your shark fa I said okay take your shark face Okay. Uh, I, oh, oh, okay. I can run. I can jump. Yay! Dude, I can jump, jump. Crouch. Am I crouched or am I. Oh, no, there is no crouch. Okay. Oh, that's. Uh, ah, whoa, mouse sensitivity. Hello. Oh, no! You cannot adjust anything. Okay. Ah! Climb to where they feed and bring them the offering. Ah! Oh, shit. Look at me go. I'm a badass. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, I love this. Yeah. I know it's probably supposed to go on that big pipeline thing. I just want to see what's up here. He 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 climbing up high. You'll never reach me if I fall or die. Climbing up high. I died. Hiya! Is that water or is that sand? Does it matter to me? Hiya! Hiya! Schwa! I, if you can't tell, I am digging this game. Hiya! Hiya! Come! Meow! Am 
I gonna fall out of this one too? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I uh, if there's one thing in life that you won't catch me doing, well, there's a lot of things in life you'll never catch me doing. But one is like mountain climbing or like some shit. Like, mm. Are you telling me I have to go left or right, not up? Mm. What's that? Boring! Yeah! Oh, I only have so much. I did not notice the freaking bar at the bottom of the screen. Oh no, I only have so much I can climb before I run out of... Oh, oh, no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, you died. died. Uh, uh, hiya. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do now. Ha. <sighs> Take little breaks. This has a story about my uncle vibes. If you've not played that game or even heard of it, oh shit. Maybe I should play that. I've played it already, I've beaten it. But it is an awesome game. And it has, it has this has vibes like that game. Uh, let me know down in the comments. <laughs> Recharge. Oh, I made that! Suck it! Suck it, everybody else! Okay... Do I need to get up there? Or... Or do I need to get on these things? This is fun. This is cool. I dig this. Hiya! Hiya! I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Doesn't matter, because this is cool. Uh oh. Can't climb that wall. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, that certainly throws a wrench in my plan. I didn't have a plan, I just lied to your face. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. I am blowing up today. What is happening? Any any uh, games that have these like gigantic locations, I absolutely love it. Can I climb you? Come on, let me climb you. Something about it is just so cool to me. It's not enough. Oh no! Oh shit! Uh, fuck! Where are you taking me? 
Is that just a floating boulder? That is not a boulder. That is a fucking head. Oh my god. That was amazing. I don't know if that's the end, the true end or what, but fuck. Uh, I think I did the right thing. I got, I'm getting so excited, I'm not breathing right. Ah, on to the next game. Woo! Okay. This game is called Patient. 1.8.90. Sounds very drippy and sewery. But also windy, so like it's up on a mountain. Find a way to enable the power. Oh, oh, it's dark. It's real dark. Door? Did that say door? Door. Do I have a flashlight or anything? Holy fuck. Where'd the door go? Hmm? Thought I opened it? What did I do? I can't see shit. Uh, I'm just hitting, I'm spamming E, I'm, I'm clicking. I don't know what's happening. It's so dark in here. Uh, this looks like a hallway, maybe. Where? This is... Mm -mm. No, this is unplayable. Sorry. What? Alt? Alt is the flashlight? You cock! You cock! Who does that? Ah. You're lucky I hit control alt delete to get out of here. That's dumb. That's a dumb, dumb thing to do. Flashlight is always F or T, if you want to call it a torch. You just almost made your game unplayable, bro. Or ma'am. Got some art. Can't go in the morgue. Super sad about that. Look, I haven't much time to type this. I think he's on to me. The doctor, his office just in the room next to mine to the left. He's not what you think he is. I can hear him on my late night shifts, chanting away in some weird language. I can't quite place. And the patients, the ones that are mad. He's responsible for all of the damn weird things that are happening to them, the patients. Mysterious disappearances or sudden loss of all sanity. I don't know what he's up to, but by God, I'm going to confront him tonight during his prayers. I don't know what nightmarish things I'll discover. I just hope to know peace by dawn, if any exists in this world. Randolph Badia, the damn janitor. You fucking get him, Randolph. That, that looks like a rag, not a note. Is this the doctor's office that you spoke of? Find a key to the doctor's office. Got ourselves a game of find the key. 
These usually don't go well for me. Mm -mm. You want to give me a puzzle to solve? Fine. You want me to stomp around a dark building looking for a key? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm uh, guessing these spider ass face, spider face ass looking things are the generators. Yeah. Woo. Am I standing in gas? Whoa. Hey. Hi. No. I don't. Nope. Don't want to talk to you ever. Goodbye. See you in there. Let me press Alt to turn off my flashlight. I guess it's kind of convenient. You can kind of get your thumb down there, but reaching over for F. Okay, he's he's just kind of stuck. He's just cycling in there, so we're fine. Okay, got the power on. Find a way into the doctor's office. Gotta find a find a way in. He's doctor. Doctor H. Phillips. Okay. Does a way in mean like uh, a key, or does it mean like a crowbar? Or does it mean I just kind of need to find another door that isn't locked that also leads to his office? You're being very vague, bro. Note. Operation report on patient 2.5442. Forename Corvus, surname Osborne. Is that what your first name is called? Forename? Huh. Affliction, paranoia, dementia. Surgery type, organ editing and manipulation. <laughs> hey man, you have dementia. So we're gonna cut your lungs out. While little seemed different to patient's brain structure upon inspection, we were given a little time to conduct our observations as a power cut caused all lights within the building to shut out. And by the time the lights had returned, the patient had died and his veins blackened. His skin ailment began to spread across his skin and within minutes he was consumed in a black shroud. <gasps> it's the thing. This is the seventh patient to fall victim to this. Oh, <laughs> patient will soon be transferred to the morgue. Well. Then who was in the generator room. Is it 3 a.m.? Or is it 3 p.m.? Drip. Okay, we just looked in there. That's our room. <laughs> All right, is there any other... Man, my guy moves so fast, I can't get a good look at anything. I don't see any other... <laughs> that, that scared me. I made my muscles all tense up in my arms. Just in my forearms, right by my elbows. That was that's weird. Is there any other clues on this uh, note? <laughs> no. Okay. Man, this place is super creepy and gross. Do do do. Oh, he must have snuck up behind me. He has the screech of a raven. And the elegance as well. I'd give my life if only to be like him. Just for a day. 
All right. It's gotta gotta be something secret in here, right? Super secret. Super secret generator room secret. Oh, it's not looking good. Um. Fuck. Um. This is like the only thing in here, and it doesn't open. Why? Section. Anything on this wheelchair? No. This is getting boring. Are you fucking? I'm just dumb. Patient profile 1.8.90. Herbert West, affliction, acute insanity, severe anxiety, paranoia. Notes, frequently states his desire to please a mysterious group he only refers to as them. When referring to these entities, he simply points towards a darkened corner of the room. Nothing is ever there upon investigation. Assumed by doctors to be a mere hallucination, I believe him. I believe him to be seeing the old ones. A privilege of the mad, truly. Hmm. When asked why he refused to take his medication, he simply stated he had no desire to live in his imperfect form. Patient has been under close supervision due to suicidal tendencies for some time now. What is taste in music? <laughs> Get it. Early after admission to the facility, patient attempted to hurl himself from a window on the fifth floor of the Howard building. His reasoning for this was that he was being chased by a hulking sludge of shadows. Though no other patient had reportedly observed this, I believe this to be an aspect of a dragon. Called to his to this reality by my studies of the Necronomicon. Treatment none known to science. We shall soon be taking the patient into the operating room in order to conduct some neurological research. Hoping to see how his visions and ailments have affected his brain on a physical and chemical level. <laughs> oh, I'm a mad doctor, mad, mad doctor. Well, what? investigate the operating room, okay. <laughs> it would have been nice if the fucking janitor mentioned he had the key. Operating room. All right, we're investigating. A little shit. Fucking fog man. Keep out. All right, we're investigating. We're investigating. Does this? Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mhm. Mm Wrong patient, but whatever. Investigating, investigating. What am I investigating about? Hmm? Am I looking for a key? Am I looking for news of your mom? Not this note. Come on. Give me something. I'm having this. I'm starting to make my own fun here.
Ah! <laughs> that was pretty fucking obvious. Operation report on patient 1890. Herbert Brady. Afflection acute insanity, severe anxiety, paranoia, surgery type. Research, removal, and observation of organs. Notes! While little seemed different to patients' brain structure upon inspection, we were given little time to conduct our observations as the power cut caused all the lights within the building to shut out. So, Corvus Osborne. And Herbert Brennan had the exact same report, like copied word for word. Like, fucking lights went out because the power cut, and by the time they came back on, the patient died. His veins black and his skin ailing began to spread across his skin. And within minutes, he was consumed by a black shroud, and it's the seventh patient to fall victim to this odd affliction. But. <sighs> Corvus Osborne was also the seventh patient to fall victim to this odd affliction. What's, uh, what's going on here? Hmm? Oh, shit! The cry of the eagle. Hey, dude. Oh, lots of, lots of you. There we go. That was patient one eight ninety. Woo! Um, the game had its quirks, but likely it was just a proof of concept or something like that. Probably made by one or two people in a very short. Oh, right there, right at the bottom corner. Made in four days for sandwich spoopy jam. Um, so yeah, this is this is a, a really quick slap together game. So you got to kind of give it a lot of leeway. Uh, when it comes to certain things being a little out of whack and not very refined, but ultimately awesome game In fact all three games super cool super fun. I enjoyed them I hope you enjoyed the games as much as I did and on that note. I'll see you in the next video Bye.